Okay, so this is the bag I want. Um, however, they only have it in the small size and because of Brexit, it's really hard to get pieces. But it is so beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. So welcome to a beautiful summer day in London. I've had a good start to the day. <laughs> That's all I need. Um, okay, so today what do we do? We do a couple of things. Let's go to Versace and Fendi because I actually want to have a second look at what kind of Fendace pieces they have. Um, if they still have some, because it's been a couple of days obviously since they um, released that collection. Uh, so Versace is just there at the corner. I would say let's go there first. Then guys, I want to talk to you about the big topic that recently caused some waves in the luxury community. Are designer handbags really done? We're gonna have a talk about that later. Um, and then I want to go to Roberto Cavalli today, guys. I, I don't know about you, I have never been in a Roberto Cavalli uh, boutique myself. Um, but I've seen this incredible bag online. I was like, wow, okay, it has something, right? It is quite special. So yeah, I would say let's go down Bond Street. Versace is our first stop and we see what else we find today. Okay, so Versace, let's have a look. Let's start with the window displays. Yes, it seems like they have some of the Fendace pieces left. And guys, if it's loud, I hope you can hear me. There's a street behind me. Oh, wow. I love it. I love the colors, the blue that fades into this with the ombre effect into all the other colors. Beautiful, okay. Let's see. And I really want to see what kind of bags they have left. I think, um, oh, there it is. Jacob was interested in that bag. Okay, that's the first look at it. Um, very interesting. What do we think? There we have the same kind of shirt for men. Pretty cool. Yeah, guys, it's a beautiful day with baby blue skies. <coughs> Sorry. So a coat that is pretty cool it's very understated it looks like a fendi coat from afar but then if you get closer you can see the medusa buttons that is pretty cool and wow i mean it is statement pieces you know if you really want to stand out that's the outfits you should go for i like it i like it quite a lot let's go in oh and look at this as well quickly so there we have one of the baguette bags and that is pretty cool you know oh wow look at all the needles there okay guys so have a look at this this is what's left um i really like this i mean this is the sunshine shopper from fendi and guys it's not a collaboration it's a swap <laughs> i really like the uh yellow hardware it's quite interesting sorry for the light vibes guys oh wow oh my god look at this beauty can we see the embroidery that went into this Okay, here is the little Fendi baguette with all the pins. Awesome. I really like it. But now, guys, oh, this one is basically the version of the shirt that we've seen outside in the window displays. It's absolutely stunning. Look at this classic as well. Versace's Medusa bag. Oh, I, I really cannot get enough of this. Oh, absolutely fabulous. I mean, it's really nice. Oh. The color is perfect for summer. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Are we ready for the counterpart? <laughs> Fendi. So, yeah, here we have some pieces. I think this beautiful dress we've seen in my Selfridges vlog, the last vlog as well. I'm gonna go to Harrods later and have a proper look at all those pieces. Oh, wow, look. Guys, and they still have those bags left. That is amazing. I would really like to try one of these on. Classic. And welcome to Fendi, guys. So, look at this. They are the bag. This is the bag I really want to try on. I don't know. It has something so special. I really like the light version. I know it comes in like the classic brown as well. Here, very similar to the Versace bags. Now we are at Fendi, so this is the Fendi part of the swap. Um, but guys, wow. Let's try this one. Yeah, this is the little Fendi Picabou version um, of the baguette, but I really like the baguette one more. Let me know which one you prefer. Okay, look at this. This is like a little pouch. Cute. And oh, this one is so pretty. Wow. I'm not a big fan of the Fendi first, but this one caught my eye. This is quite 
a stunner with all those sequins. So this is the bag I love the most. Um, this is the bag that actually caught my attention on the website. I think it's, you know, very neutral. You can pair it with any outfit. It comes with a long strap as well. Uh, I love it. It's made out of satin. Um, just look at this handle. It is incredible. Um, but the pink one, the pink sunshine tool that we just spotted is really nice as well simply because of the colors. Which one do you like more? You have to be a bit careful, yeah. Um, so there is leather actually, the, the strap is made out of leather, that's why it's so rigid, but on top you basically have this satin material as well. Oh. I think I would just wear it without the shoulder strap. So here's the sunshine chopper and oh I love the colors! <gasps> I mean, we tried on the Zucker print, the brown Fendi uh, Sunshine Shopper in Selfridges on Wednesday. But guys, wow. And I think because, can you see, I love the metallic details. <gasps> this is a perfect um, tote for spring and summer, I think. Yeah, so I just walked past Global Boutique and I've already seen this shop um, when I was filming my vlog with my sister-in-law. And look at that, last time they had a beautiful black Birkin uh, 25 actually in the window display and this time around they have a lot of Kellys that's you know of course you have to pay a premium here but look they look like new quick little stuff at Fenwick guys this is what they have <laughs> Lady Dior's <laughs> um, it seems like a lot of stuff has sold recently to be honest look how empty the shelves are um, yeah, only a couple Azure pieces and a lot of Prada, nothing too special. However, this mirror is right here and I thought, guys, I can give you an outfit of the day. So, I'm wearing my beautiful new dress from ASOS. Yes, it's only from ASOS. However, when I saw this, I love the cut, the asymmetrical cut. Like, if you haven't seen that whole video yet, go and check it out. Um, I love this dress so much, it's like perfect for hot summer days like today and my beautifully gifted uh, bag and I love this outfit, it's very casual, right? Okay, let's go! And some Chanel from the window displays. Oh wow, can you see those sleeves? It's made out of pearls. That is a piece I have not seen yet. Sorry for the reflection, I know it's really bad today because it's so bright. Um, but yeah, I hope you can see something. I'm gonna check the footage later. Oh, look at this little perfume bottle. Hmm. And another look at the Chanel 22 bags. There we have the medium size, the small, <clears throat> the large. Hmm. Can't wait to get mine. Dior, anyone, guys? So these pieces are new for sure. A um, little bit of like skater chic. chic. <laughs> Um, yeah, not my, not, not to my taste, but I could see a lot of people actually liking this. I'm just at Tiffany's because I want to have a look at a little golden snake ring. And wow, can we see this beautiful piece? This is a scorpion necklace. Oh yeah, that is really nice. That is, what size is this one? 4.5. 4 4.5. Bear in mind that it's just the one. And just the one in the yeah, size? Just okay. The one in the size. Okay. No, it's really, really nice. I think it looks good, right? As well with it the other rings. It does look lovely with your other mm. rings. Yeah. Okay, guys, so you might know that I actually looked at this ring a couple of months back, and uh, my fiance wasn't the biggest fan of how it looks like, but I love it. And now I came back and I think it looks stunning with all the other rings basically that I put on, right? So I think I get it. So this happened. We have a little unboxing to do in the next video. <laughs> okay guys, so I wanted to have a quick chat about do we actually think that designer handbags are done or luxury bags are done? Obviously, uh, HIH collection was the one that started this topic and yes, it's a very controversial uh, video, but I think she's also a very controversial personality where she knows what she does, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's I think a good topic to talk about because I have noticed, like I mean, I get so many comments every day, guys and uh, some of them are not very nice <laughs> obviously and so my issue with the whole thing is I believe that a lot of people who've been collecting for many many years maybe decades of course they have seen like big changes you know in 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 in, in the whole luxury uh, field so 
What I really don't like, because I actually do get those comments, it's people that basically saying everything was better in the past. Not a lot of people were actually able to afford um, designer bags and you know that they felt special. And now basically with the masses being able to, to, to buy luxury bags, you know, they feel like we're taking away um, from, from the joy, we're taking away from, you know, the, the fact that it's such special pieces. But I mean, yes, maybe designer handbags are oversaturated in certain places, but you know, why, why should we care? You know, <laughs> let anybody buy whatever they want and if it makes them happy, even better. Um, so I think, yeah, I don't like this elitist way of thinking about it. Whoever wants to buy a luxury bag, you know, can go and buy one and enjoy it. It's all about our own perception of things. You know, if something makes us happy, why should we not get it? So yeah, that's that basically. Um, let me please know all your thoughts. Obviously, designer handbags are not going to be over. I mean, the demand has never been higher. Um, look at the prices on the resale market. They are exploding. Um, I also asked my best friends here on YouTube, um, Jesse from Jesse Style and Dacob from Super Dacob. Go and check their channel out. I'm going to link everything. Um, I asked them about their opinion. And yeah, let's hear what they say. Jesse Style here. Hey, Romina. Well, do I think designer bags will be ever done? For people who have been collecting designer bags for like the last 10 years, they would have noticed a giant change in the prices and the availability of some bags. And not only that, guys, but, you know, out and about in, in secondhand stores and just all over Instagram, you're seeing black classic flaps, you're seeing you know, even Birkins and Kellys now, you're seeing monogram everywhere and it's become quite almost normal to people I guess who were sucked into that social media world which a lot of us are so it has lost its luster a little bit and I think people are just not as excited by luxury as much as they maybe were before social media got so you know a part of our lives which it has been for quite some time and do I think designer bags are gonna you know be irrelevant in a few years I don't think so because I can see the younger generation is getting into designer stuff like at a really young age like the other day a little boy um, he came into a store and I saw he like pointed at a Louis Vuitton bag and he was like oh, Louis Vuitton and this day and age kids are kind of like exposed to designer brands more than they would have been in the past so I think that as the young generation grow up they will start getting into designer bags just like um how everyone else did so um yeah maybe for people who have been collecting for a while it's starting to lose the luster but i don't know for me i'm still into designer bags guys like i'm starting to collect um other styles like there's always something to explore with designer bags so yeah i don't know guys each to their own hello romina and hello to all of romina's viewers on youtube how's it going Jacob here romina thank you so much for the question um designer trend bags or it bags are they over is it done are they dead mm, i wish <laughs> i wish they were dead because then we would not fomo for it then we would not be thinking oh my gosh i gotta buy more and more and more but i i think that designer uh, bags and trends are here to stay alas but there is something we can do and that is have more fun with fun bags that are not necessarily just designer as i'm filming this for romina it's easter time so i got my little easter bunny bag which is no designer at all but it is adorable it's a little easter bunny with little ears and little eyeballs hiding underneath i added a little chanel camellia uh <laughs> to the easter bunny and it's in felt and yes it's giving me the gives you guys this is my personal designer non-designer it bag of the moment and it's just as fabulous so it's all about what you make of it that's my bottom line that's what i think is kind of the most important message to take out of this thank you guys so much for tuning into romina's channel uh sending all the love to everybody all of romina's viewers and to you romina love you loads Mwah. bye and i can completely understand dave cup because i just got this one for halloween last year <laughs> how cute is this and i keep it on the fridge. The moral of the story is of course like the masses do uh, afford and buy luxury bags now but I it just like it's 
for me it makes me happy <laughs> um, because we can all share our love for those bags in in you know we all have the same passion we all have the same luxury disease yes we do <laughs> um, but also ooh, a bee guys by the way look it's Hyde Park it's uh, really beautiful with all the little flowers here so you know it just makes me happy that our community is growing and that we can share you know our love for these items for, for these pieces with other people you know how many messages do i get every day as well of people saying they don't have anybody in their real life that they can share this passion with and they're really happy that you know they found our little community and i think that's exactly how we should think about things so yeah i'm i'm not a big fan of this elitist way of thinking that design handbags are done simply because you know everybody can afford them now I'm the opposite. Let me know your thoughts. By the way, if my skin looks really bad today, like I didn't put any proper makeup on because I knew it would just melt off me. We just arrived at Roberto Cavalli. Let's go in in a second. So guys, I once wanted to have one of their bags um, with like an R, obviously, for Roberto Cavalli, but also for Romina, right? And it had like snakes. Um, so obviously it was something for me. Look at these dresses. And then I forgot about it for a while. And don't ask me how I, you know, got into uh, Roberto Cavalli now again. I think I was on um, Farfetch the other day. And I was like, wow, their dresses and everything. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and then I looked through their bags as well. And I mean, they are something, right? Look at it. It's quite special. It's, you know, not, you don't see anybody else basically walking around with this. I'm a big fan of this. Um, it's understated in a way that it doesn't have logos. Obviously, you know, leopard print is quite something. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look. That's meant. Um, nonetheless, you know, it's really special pieces. And then I was like, okay, let me have a look at the proper website. And I left Farfetch and I went to the proper website and I was like really amazed by their bags and clothing pieces as well. So I think like we should go in and have a look. Okay, so this is the bag I want. Um, however, they only have it in the small size and because of Brexit, it's really hard to get pieces. But it is so beautiful. Okay, I love it. What do we think? Um, I think, is it possible to wear it over the shoulder, guys? Let me see. So, <clears throat> you could. I love the details on this. Can you see the, the teeth? It's absolutely stunning. Hmm, what do we think? Is this a very special piece? Uh, I like it, I like it a lot. So originally, this is the size I wanted, guys. Can you see, it's like a big book toad. I really wanted this one. Um, and basically I'm gonna put the picture up again then you know what I'm talking about um, but I mean this is maybe actually the better size <clears throat> let me know I'm actually quite surprised by how big this is um, I think it's more of a travel bag but oh, look at this beautiful interior um, maybe the smaller size is actually better I don't know what do you think um, it's quite wide as well guys <clears throat> quite white unfortunately maybe I like the smaller one better that's such a beautiful contrast <gasps> it's really nice and um, the I guess the lining is leather right it's all leather. Uh, what what is the canvas it's all made of canvas. A canvas okay yeah, it's all printed. Oh, this is just so beautiful I mean it's a bag you don't see often right yes there you can see the big ones as well but oh my god look at these shoes <gasps> they are out of this world Wow, okay, maybe I'm gonna be a really big Roberto Cavalli fan at some point. And Gucci, anyone? Um, okay, I would say let's go to Harrods now and then that's probably it for today. So, I love Gucci, their clothing, their ready-to-wear pieces are still quite extra, let's say. But the bags have, I don't know, really become boring recently, right? Look at that, Gucci's answer to the trunks. A little bit of Dior. This is again the skater style, how I like to call it. Do we like the bucket bags? It's definitely not my style, guys. Little look at MS bags, guys. So, wow, what beauty is right? I mean, look at this. And these are quite new, I think. Um, yeah, interesting. There, this dress is incredible as well, if you ask me. And this peekaboo. 
wow. It's a peekaboo ICU because um, it has the tsun on the outside. It's basically like a Cellier style. But yeah, I really like it. Look at this, ready for the Fendi pop-up. Um, Fendi Fendaccio, of course. Wow, okay. That is a lot of eye candy all in one spot. <gasps> Incredible. Look at this. Oh my god, the backpack even. So cool. What a beautiful and successful day. And i um, just about to leave Paris now and I will enjoy the rest of the day. It's stunningly beautiful. The sun is still shining. Yeah, okay. So um, I am surprised that there are still so many Fendage pieces left. I would have really thought like within three days everything sets out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let me know if that surprises you as well. Did you actually get like a piece from Fendaccio? I love walking down the Knightsbridge Road, it's so pretty. Yeah, let me know um, if any of you scored a bag and yeah, also um, the Roberto Cavalli bag. Please give me your opinion. I like it. I actually like it a lot more in the small size because after I've seen the big toad, you know, it didn't look as big on the model. Um, after I've seen how big it is in real life and how wide, I was like, okay, that's not for me. Um, definitely not. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you like the small one. It's a print, of course. I don't have a single printed bag. Um, yeah, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I think it was 986 so a thousand pound basically okay guys so let me know if you any if you spotted anything else obviously um always love hearing your thoughts if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up subscribe join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease yes we do and i see you again very very soon bye